Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to back up your Synology NAS to an external hard drive using Hyper Backup. So everybody knows that it's very important to have backups of your data, but a lot of people want to have backups of data that doesn't necessarily have to be backed up off-site. So I have important information that I need to ensure that I always have. And for that data, I ensure that I back it up off-site so I have multiple copies of it with at least one off-site. That's the 3 2, one backup rule. For your very important data, you want to make sure that you follow that. But I also have data that I wouldn't be totally upset if I lost it, but in the event of corruption or something like that, it'd be nice to be able to get it back quickly. So I'm really talking about instances where you don't want to pay for cloud storage, or you might not have an off-site NAS or something like that available where you can back up your entire NAS off-site. So for situations like that, using an external hard drive is a very reasonable way of backing up your important data, but not your mission critical data. So what I normally do is these go on sale pretty regularly. Um, Best Buy has the Western Digital Easy Store and Amazon has the Western Digital Elements. So I'll put a link for a few of them in the description, but pick one of these up if you're interested in backing up your NAS. They're generally off-label Western Digital Red Drives, so most of them now are white label drives, but that means that they're NAS drives. So they're a little higher quality than the desktop grade hard drives that you find in a lot of external enclosures. So if you're interested in picking up an external hard drive, I highly suggest you look into those. Now we're quickly gonna look at how you can set this up. So what you'll do is you have to install Hyper Backup from Synology's Package Center if you haven't done that yet. When you're in there, you can create a new task, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you to uh, select the type of storage that you'd like to back up to. So for me, I'm gonna select local folder and USB, and that's because I am backing up my NAS to an external hard drive. After that, you're gonna select your USB destination. So when you plug in a USB device, you're gonna see that it's listed as USB share one. That's what you have to select. That's where the data will be backed up to. After that, you can select all of your source data that you want to back up. Then you could pick your applications that you want to back up as well. And then you're going to quickly have to specify the frequency of when this job will run. So the two important things that I want to note here is the integrity check and encryption. So the integrity check is what ensures that your backup is valid, meaning that it can actually be restored. Um, that's very important. You want to run that at least weekly. As far as encryption goes, this is if you want the backup to actually be encrypted. So what I mean by that is if somebody comes and grabs your external hard drive, they would need that encryption key or the password that you specify to actually restore that backup. A lot of people do this if you're gonna be backing it up offsite, but if you're gonna be doing it right next to your NAS, you know, it's kinda of up to you, but at least you know it's there. Make sure that you pick the frequency that makes sense to you, meaning daily, weekly, whatever you wanna do, and then you can move on to the next step which will bring you to the backup rotation. So backup rotation is basically just saying that after it reaches a certain number of versions, so let's say you do 30, once it reaches 30 versions, it will delete based on the setting you select. So if you do from the earliest, it will delete the oldest version. Smart Recycle is Synology's proprietary way of doing it, and then you could customize the retention if you want. But just know that you probably do want to keep specific versions, but you probably don't want to do more than say a month or two, but you're free to do as many as you'd like. After that, you can start up the backup and then it will run based on the frequency that you specified in the settings. So like I said a little earlier, this is a really great way to ensure that some of your important data that's not mission critical is still being backed up. There's nothing worse than losing data and having no backups of it. And even though you have a NAS and you have RAID and you probably configured snapshots, it's still not a replacement for proper backups. So like I said, pick up one of those hard drives if you're interested. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I always do my best to get back to you guys. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.